we held off on covering this a bit because I think Sam and I wanted to do a little bit of a deeper dive into this really incredible interview in so many ways. Like, they're seemingly on the side of the road at some cafe in Los Angeles. Uh, Taylor Lorenz. Now, now, these guys, now, I, I got to be honest, like, I have not followed, I've only sort of, like, peripherally been aware of Taylor Lorenz. She was at the Times, and then she left... I think she was at the Washington Post. Yeah. Oh, the Washington Post. Yeah. And, and she writes like a lot about right wing online misinformation and I think tech and things like that. Like and, the influencer. and the influencer economy on the right. And so they really, really don't like her. She's also very COVID conscious and they also mock her for that. And she has faced a ton of harassment from the right, including a... Uh, when she spoke about her experiences of being targeted personally by the right wing, she cried in an interview speaking about it. And you will see on Chaya Reichick's body that she is wearing a T-shirt with a photo showing up to this interview with Taylor Lorenz to really get her with a right. photo of uh, her crying on it. So I, I don't even know how why Chaya agreed to this, how this happened. But there's like well, what's I gotta, striking well, is there's nothing up here. There's well, that's it, what I was going to say. I think yes. if you have a question as to why she agreed to this, it's because she's not bright. No, she's um, not bright. No, it, and but, that becomes like clear from the jump here. Which um, one do you want to start with? The um, uh, let's start with the great replacement theory part because Taylor okay. just specifically asked her. And again, for people that don't realize who this person is, Chai Reichick was at one point an anonymous uh, online troll and uh, scotastic scocastic i can never say it terrorist <laughs> um basically targeting hate behind the libs of tiktok account towards trans and queer and gay people throughout the country and then she ended up revealing herself she maybe did a little bit of ozempic she curled her hair a bit and now she's trying to be a celebrity but she has a negative charisma like it's almost like watching it's not even like eating a saltine cracker it's like staring at one okay um i really don't like her so anyway taylor asked her here about the great replacement theory oh ideology minor but they allow 18 year olds yeah yeah which has you know okay, 18 so. year olds you're an adult but let's just get back to the great replacement stuff because i'm curious what are your thoughts on that whole ideology i mean how many there 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 were there were times that um there were some months over the past three years that there were more illegals coming into our border than children being born in the u.s is that not does that not look like they're trying to replace us? I guess uh, sort of imagine bringing America in a whole as new a, population. a melting pot. Isn't that sort of what America was founded on? No, but they're, they're actually bringing in more people than are actually being born. So I guess if you, it sounds like you sort of do ascribe to this theory of the Great Replacement. Um, how does that make you I just you look feel? at the facts and the numbers. Well, so, I mean, just let's give a corollary, right? A lot of Jewish people fled, you know, Europe came over here also as immigrants. Um, and there's a lot of criticism towards Jewish people in those movements, in those far-right movements. So I'm just wondering, as a Jewish woman, sort of how you feel about that and your role in cultivating this fan base that might think of you as, an, as, a, as a minority, an outsider. Uh, not all cultures are equal. Yeah. So I know you have a lot uh, of concerns about education. Pause for one second. Education. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would like to have heard more about that. Yeah. She says, not all cultures are equal. She says a little bit more uh, after that. But also, does Taylor bring up the fact that the Great Replacement Theory is also an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory? Of because course it is. The because idea the they that is bringing all these people in are the Jews. Yep, because who, they can't they don't think bra like Latino or black people or immigrants from the global south are sophisticated enough to to pull this off. I wonder, like when Chaya Rychek's, um ancestors were um pioneers back in the day when they were uh, fighting uh, native americans for land uh i wonder i wonder uh, what uh, what her her ancestors were doing i mean basically she gives the answer there right when she's saying i mean 
um, some cultures are, are better than others. The issue isn't that they are replacing us. It's that we are supreme over them and yep. they're, uh, they are dirtying our genetic. Um, and she uh, funnily thinks that she's part of that uh, as, uh, as, as a Jew. But go ahead. Yeah. So I know you have a lot of concerns about educational materials and books, library books and things, um, especially. They're importing people who Whoa. want to destroy America and who who want to who come here and and do not stand for what america stands for so and i think and we see it there's time after time after time after time they come in they're destroying our cities they bring crime with them and they they are bringing them in to replace us and um pause yeah, it for one second again from, i just want to just like uh, the fact that uh, uh, immigrants do not commit more crime than uh america American-born uh, citizens. Um, a, B. Who is the they? Right. Who is the they? Right. Who is the they and who is the us? Yes. Right. I mean, she's just a fascist, and you can kind of see how right now, like the anti-trans movement and the efforts to control gender and sexuality um, are so inextricably linked from far-right fascist ideology um and so like she's even though there's that inherent contradiction on its face of like you are a jewish person and this is an extremely anti-semitic conspiracy theory that has been condemned by multiple jewish groups and uh uh and and, and uh you know southern poverty law center or whatever like she doesn't see that as a contradiction because it's all about control and dominating people who she feels like are unequal is there more on that one let's go to the next one okay. then yeah because then taylor lorenz at one point gets kind of more toward the where uh chai Reichik made her name um her anti-trans uh activism basically and what she did was uh picked up on tiktoks of trans people people doing drag shows teachers who may be gay and would blast it to her hateful base it often resulted in firings harassments targeting towards those individuals and so that's what she truly believes but taylor kind of asks her about very basic questions surrounding this topic and as we now know, just by hearing her talk very briefly, like she does. She has no idea what she's talking about. She's very stupid. <laughs> you know what? This reminds me of uh, when Dave Rubin was like, uh, I'm a liberal, but I think we should have limited government yep. and uh, single payer health care. <laughs> right. Go ahead. Right. You know, if you eradicate transgenderism, which I believe you suggested in a post today. No, I never suggested that. Oh, okay. You reposted a post that was advocating for that. What would happen to the people that have already medically, socially completely transitioned and are leading happy lives? What would happen to them? I mean, what's your plan for, for that? If transgenderism doesn't exist, which it seems like you're, that's what you believe, what happens to all the people living happy lives as trans people? Well, it, first of all, the whole trans, is it's based on a lie. You can't change your you can't change your gender okay but so they could they could go live their 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 life i mean i can't tell someone what to do in their in their house sounds like you do want to tell people what to do in their house i never said that so you're totally okay with people being trans just not as long as they're in public no i never said that they could it's the whole thing is based off of a lie and i think that um the fa this lie cannot be mainstream in our in our society it's just it's a lie and what harm is it causing do you believe um i like the truth i like truth right but i'm saying what what's the what's the harm of people expressing their gender identity differently than you believe it to be what what harm are they causing um like i said we are a a um 
a nation of truth, and I, I'm, I'm, I seek the truth. But that's. But I'm asking about the harm. What's the harm? You might believe it to be false, but what's the, the harm, harm is that there's a lie that is very mainstream and is being embedded into every institution. I guess I'm wondering what the material harm is, aside from it's maybe something that you disagree with, as in your version of the truth is different than their version of the truth. What is the material harm of them living in their life as a woman or man or gender that you don't agree? Not anything that's wrong is there a material harm necessarily. So there's no harm. I didn't say that. So can you name oh. a single harm? Uh, the way that it's pushed, on, it's pushed on to kids, first of all. What's pushed on to kids? Uh, gender ideology, transgenderism. Uh -huh. But if they're leading happy lives and they just are leading it. Well, there are studies that show that they're more suicidal after transition. No, that's not true. Yeah, there's a study out of Sweden. That is not yeah. true. That is not true. <laughs> yeah, you can look up the study. Well, oh, taking into account all of the happy people that have transitioned. What did you say, Sam? I got the uh, classic, uh, guys, uh, you, my girlfriend is really, uh, she lives in Canada. She lives in Sweden. There uh, is a, uh, there is a, right. she's found a Swedish um, um, the, uh, proof that there is, uh, there is a study in Sweden that says that uh, none of these people are happy. Yes. Um, um, well, let me just say, OK, because this just came to mind. Literally the biggest ever study conducted of Americans, trans Americans, came out earlier this month. Or actually, it's uh, March now in February. Biggest ever survey of trans Americans finds 94 percent happier after transition. And when you say a massive study, it was 92,000 people that were interviewed, which is a significant sample size. Um, if she is so uh, concerned about the emotional well-being of trans people, maybe she would allow trans people to decide what they want to do. Um, but putting that even that aside, we are a country of truth. And that is um, the to in her and her words, to uh, believe that you can change your gender because she says you can't change your gender. And this is going to be important for her next uh, the next clip we play. But she believes that if you you can that a you cannot change your gender. And if you believe that you can change your gender, it's a lie. And the existence of that lie believed by um, uh, a significant number of people in this country, the majority of people, um, then somehow we are all materially harmed by living in a truth society that isn't full of the truth. Meanwhile, I have some questions about how uh, in her uh, expression of Orthodox uh, Judaism, she can reconcile certain things to me like the splitting of the Red Sea uh, that happened when uh, Moses walked uh, across the uh, Red Sea. And um, all of these other things that we find in the Bible that she believes in, um, are, do, do, are we sure that those are truths? She might say that's the case. This whole thing with believing in God. Yeah. We have no evidence of that, do we? Mm. Do I want to live in the truth the society. Truth? I mean, should, these questions have to be asked, right? It's amazing. Uh, it's amazing, A, that um, how uh, far you can get by just operating a, a TikTok channel. Um, Ramona says, it's fun to laugh at her, but it should be noted that Chaya Rychik has caused serious damage. All the bomb threats she has caused are terrifying, as is the fact that she put on the she was put on the library committee deciding what books are available in Oklahoma where yeah. next Benedict was just uh, uh, killed by radicalized anti-trans bigots. I don't know if it's been fully established that that's the case, although they're, they're still investigating it and we'll, we'll see, but there's certainly reason to believe that that, that was the case. Um, here is, uh, here is Chai Rajek just moments later saying that not only can you not change your gender, not only those people who think that you can change your gender are believing into a lie. In fact, none of this exists at all. I'm asking you, why is it that people have to live under your sort of view of gender? 
And it's not my view. It's science. It's facts. It's biology. But biology, if, in, in, if we're talking biology, there's a spectrum of gender. There's people that are intersex. That is a very a rare medical condition that has nothing to do with someone deciding that they could be the opposite gender. I guess I'm still kind of struggling to understand how you think if your view, say tomorrow Trump is elected, he says, all right, we're going to all live by Haya's, you know, decisions, right? What, what about all these happy trans people that are living their lives that are not harming anyone? What is, what harm are they doing by living their life as a woman who medically transitioned, they're, they're adults, you know, I understand you have problems with kids, but with adult trans people, what, what's the harm that they're doing to society? To society, it's they're they're spreading a lie that is affecting children also. Uh huh. So you just believe gender is, is a lie. What if somebody said to trans? You, you can't change your gender. Uh huh. And what if somebody said to you, you know, you're not a real woman. You're not a real woman because maybe you don't you don't meet these certain specific definitions of femininity. That's fine. I don't care. They can call me whatever you want. But what if you would be forced to live by that? Do you think it's fair that you would, you know, be forced? Is that to based in like science? Well, I don't think any of it's really based in science. Well, it is. Gender is a sexes. social construct. Well, g- well, g- well gender is actually made up. Exactly. Um, yes, we agree on this. Who, we by, agree. By a child predator, by a pedophile. Uh, we don't agree. Yeah. We so, don't agree on so that. he made up gender, and now they conflate the two, and they use it to, uh, to basically. Uh, trans kids. Um, so there are actually two sexes. Pause it. And there oh, pause are it. Hold on for one second. This is uh, amazing. Mm-hmm. Gender is a social construct. Actually, no, it's made up. It doesn't exist at all. Okay, uh, so we agree. And it's made up by a child predator. Yeah. Um, they, who is she talking about? I don't know. But... I looked up, she, she, she then says there that there's only two sexes, even though Taylor just pointed out that there are intersex people. Um, I looked up the percentage of people in the United States that have intersex traits. It's around 1.7% of the population that have an intersex trait, okay? So that's over 1% of the population of the United States. Now, I mean, what is the current population of the United States? Um, Three, th- okay. 330 million people. Yeah, so, okay, like it's, the the number if you're looking at that percentage right it's over three million people who have intersex traits in the united states how oh, well many, over well, well over. over right i'm i'm being even conservative here and but my, i'm also covering up how bad i am at math um <laughs> how many people in the united states 13 and over identify as trans 1.6 million Oh, I so, think there's probably five times more uh, intersex people than there are uh, people who identify as trans. So if this is an epidemic, Chaya, but you admit that there are intersex people, but it's extremely rare. It's very rare. Actually, intersex traits are more common than the scourge of trans ideology that she's talking about here. And what's also sort of fascinating is that she doesn't seem to understand the difference between gender and sex, or she doesn't want there to be a difference between gender and sex. Um, in which case, the I guess the idea is that like when you are born with a, a vagina or a penis, that like from the day that that difference existed you got a certain pair of pants that you were supposed to wear right um it's almost as if like there was no awareness that human beings existed before maybe you know there was a difference between pants and let's say dresses and skirts or whatever it is that uh, uh she thinks connotes this i mean what's um uh, that I, I, I continue. Go back a little bit so we can hear that because she's really lost here. And it's amazing that someone who has made their entire career a function of this doesn't know even the basic arguments that people would refute her with. It is. By a pedophile. Uh, we don't agree. Yeah. We so don't agree on so no, no, he made up gender. Go back a little bit. 
some of the art of this too is just like how they're both kind of speaking in this faux polite manner that like yes. every woman that i you know in in the world has had other women speak to them like this before <laughs> Exactly. Uh, yes, we agree on that. We by, agree. By a child predator, by a pedophile. Uh, we don't agree. Yeah. We so, don't agree on that. so he made up gender, and now they conflate the two, and they use it to, uh, to basically uh, trans kids. Um, so there are actually two sexes, and there are zero genders, and there are many personalities. That's what I believe. Yeah. Okay. Um, there are zero genders. So gender, gender, not only can you not change your gender, genders don't even exist. There are no genders. Apparently. So what about those intersex people that she just literally spoke about? How are they, if she says it's a binary, there are intersex people and there's no gender. It needs to correlate entirely with your sex. What if you have both, both traits? Has, has she, has, has the science gotten to her there has she figured out that science yet it it really is impressive how stupid she is um yeah. uh but i think you know that is the that has been the point of this from the very beginning this is a right-wing fundamentalist ideology that has fueled all of this and there's a reason why it animates the republican party because the republican party is a fundamentalist party that's it end of yeah. story and end of story it, it really is incredible that like it reminds me of the matt walsh clip from joe rogan where he just did that whole documentary on what is a woman and went across the globe to interview people in africa and and all of that and then joe rogan asked him how many trans kids are in the united states and he's like about a million and it, the numbers in the thousands, like the low thousands. And he didn't even think about that one time, even though he just did a whole, he's a supposedly a documentary filmmaker steeped in this topic for many months. Chaya Reichick's entire career is based on hating trans people and hating gay people. And she doesn't know the most basic facts about the topic that she's supposedly so passionate about. It's really bizarre. Um, and just you know she the uh, she thought it was such an own to show up in that shirt with with taylor's face on it and then as soon as she comes completely unprepared she's dismantled and humiliated in front of the world so um i enjoyed that very much and yeah, the that, per, the the person that she was talking about i was just lo doing a little cursory research so apparently there was this um new zealand born um sexologist and psychologist named dr john money who who seemingly was like a dabbled in like pedophilia experiments on children things like that and he popularized or at least was like one of the uh, people in the movement of like describing a, the term gender ideology but no one says that he founded gender right. and no he, one says that yeah. he, he like he was the creator of gender there were there were trans clinics like at the at the beginning of the turn of the 20th century where this kind of science was beginning to take foot but um yeah it, that makes sense when they single out one creepy individual because the to to smear trans people as pedophiles but.